This says nothing of the impasse over border security and Ukrainian aid. Unlike more recent shutdown threats, a short-term patch isn't an obvious escape route this time. Democrats and some Republicans are harshly rejecting House Speaker Mike Johnson's withdrawal plan. Extend stopgap spending bill through rest fiscal year. Arguing that funding limits in summer debt deal would lead to tens of billions dollars in cuts if it were happen. That debt package, negotiated by President Joe Biden and former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, was supposed to do the heavy lifting by setting parameters for a spending compromise. Instead, House Republicans have repeatedly undercut deal because senators have embraced additional emergency spending that exceeds the limits of debt agreement. As negotiations continue, five sticking points remain more defense funding the debt package set a funding level for national defense programs. One of the least controversial items in the fierce spending fight. But there is still a debate to be resolved. That debt deal also set an $886 billion ceiling for national defense programs. A 3.2% increase in line with Biden's budget request for the fiscal year that begins October. 1. Lawmakers used this sum to write what are now known as annual defense policy bills. As NDAA. It passed both the Senate and House of Representatives with bipartisan support. But there is still widespread desire to provide additional money to the military. Senate Democrats and Republicans wanted to add about $8 billion in emergency funds to pad the Pentagon's budget, thinking the amount Biden requested was insufficient. But conservatives in the House of Representatives are certainly not demanding funds above the debt. Bill's spending limits. Major cuts to non-defense funding The debt agreement caps non-defense funding at $704 billion for the current fiscal year. This is a cut of more than 9% compared to current funding levels. But a handshake agreement accompanying the deal softened the blow, potentially providing up to $69 billion in additional money for domestic programs the conservatives. Of course want to throw away this extra money. Democrats also opposed their request separately. Senate Democrats Republicans also agreed to dole out another $6 billion in appropriations bills that would fund the of Homeland Security, Department of Health and Human Services, State Department, Justice more. But conservatives in the House of Representatives are once again pushing strictly adhere to the debt bill's funding limits which senators are unlikely agree to. Conservatives oppose emergency cash this $69 billion handshake deal and Senate's effort to pad. Spending bills with an extra $14 billion fall into the category of emergency cash, a routine maneuver designed to circumvent debt laws funding limits. Democrats reject the handshake deal's classification as a side deal of the debt deal arguing it is a critical piece of legislation negotiated by both C.